This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries representing numbers. Let's see here. 5-bit number. When you only have 4 bits, the highest number that you could make was 15, right? So we know this because we filled in our activity guide representing numbers, hopefully. If you're my student, you absolutely did. If you're not my student, you should have. And if you haven't, go ask your teacher for it. It's also available here, so it will help you throughout this lesson. Now, all right, now's your chance to work with bits to make higher numbers. In this activity, the dots are representing are replaced with numbers, but you still need to add up everything that is showing to see what the number the binary code stands for. The leftmost bit doesn't have a number yet, so you'll have to give it one. Do this. Click the bits to turn them on and off and see the different numbers you can make. With your partner, hi partner, that's you on the other side of this, discuss what number the pattern in the numbers. Decide what number you think would go in the leftmost box. Click edit to change the value of the leftmost bit. Once you've decided on the value, try to make the following numbers. 16, 27, 31. All right. Change the value of the leftmost bit by typing it in the box below. By typing it in. So what about save new? Oh, so we can just put anything we want here. Okay. So this should be 16, right? 1, 2, 4, 8 is the pattern I'm noticing. Okay. Once you've decided on the value, try to make the following numbers. 16, 27, and 31. So... Hmm. Okay, so we have a pattern going here now. These are the... Uh, the places, right? This is the ones, twos, this would be fours, eights, and sixteenths in binary. It's just how you count. So, change the value of the leftmost box. Is it zero? Can I? Oh, look at this. So, I can change these. Okay. Okay. So, let me set that. And what's this thing? Now, it is only considering the black and white sections of this, right? So white means it is a 1. Black would mean that is represented as a 0. So, so this is how we produce 16, right? So 0, 0, 0, 0, and then a 1 here. So that would be a 0 place zero place so zero here means that we it was actually a 10 or actually three and then we carried the one except it was already a one here so we carried it again so now we went from three carried 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 to here and it is a 16. all right now on to 27. Hmm. well what if i highlight this that's just going to be the ones place now, this will be the 2s. Well, what's 1 plus 2? It's 3, right? So that's getting us there. Let's see. What's plus 8? That's 11. What about plus 16? Oh, wait a minute. There we go. So this would be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 is the binary right here. These are tricky. All right, now let's try 31, and I'm really just going to mess around with this. How can I make 31? Well, 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21, but I'm still 10 off. Ah, so 31 is max. It'd be 1, 1, 1, 1. Ooh, these are tricky all the way across. Huh, that's kind of cool how they do that. So again, the number here represents its place value, how much it's worth in the binary number system, but if it is darkened, that just means it's a zero right now. And if I click it, now it's lit, that would just mean it's a one, right? When I click this, this is in binary just represented as a one. So in binary, this would be one, one, but that's the two spot. So this one, one in binary is equal to three. Just like in binary, if I light this up, this is now a one, one, zero, zero in binary. Well, that's actually equal to a four because that means this was a 
this was a one care uh, this was a 10 right so this was a zero carried the one over there was a one already here carried it over again and here we are at fours this is awesome all right cool let's keep going 